you like hot sake sake? <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome hey, to Respawn Inbox. Welcome to this Inbox. is the show where we answer all the mail. Again. Yeah, Every you? week we do this. Are you good? You seem a little... What's I'm just on? a little, I'm a little under the weather. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Eat one this of those. Is, these are all right. These are great. I'm happy to see you, man. I'm good. happy that you're here. I love Thanks, shooting man. this show. I do need the, uh, yeah, I need the pick-me-up. I'm hoping yep. Inbox provides that for me because I am just yeah. in the fucking dumps today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, E3's think, coming up, we're about to get lots of uh, sweet, sweet video game news to suckle upon though, so yeah, maybe are. that'll help. That'll be good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie right now, I'm just not. Yeah. Can we just... Yeah, let's start it. Sure. You'll get into the spirit by the time this episode's over. Whoa. I hope so. I hope so. Stuck to it. Hmm. What? Oh boy, that's not gonna help things, is it? What, what's written on there? <laughs> Wait, hold on, we, we lost it. I don't know how that this survived the trip through the pneumatic line. It's pretty impressive. What does it say, you? It says, I don't what? know. <laughs> this doesn't even make sense. Why you stupid? Oh, why, why you, you stupid? stupid? It looks like maybe they wrote yo. Yeah, and then they got yo. messed up. Oh boy, that's not gonna help you. Well, anyway. This is not a good start. No, it's all right, all right, all right, here we go. Eat some, I'm gonna eat. Uh, <laughs> Fucking assholes! Assholes! All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm happy to see you. We got it. We got it. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Who's the? You got this. You got this. You got this. Okay. Just, you're the fucking best. The best goddamn man, man. This place has ever fucking seen. Mari, of course. APL. Mm, thank you. Just fucking pull your shit together. Get your fucking shit together. First question comes in from nice. Brendan Leary. Sark, what have you been doing since you left Machinima and APL? What are your plans after YouTube and Machinima? Oh. Good question, Brendan. What have I been doing since I left Machinima? Yeah, what I've been, been wearing a lot of sweatpants, long john bottoms, uh, athletic shorts on hot days, blowing fans on my legs because it gets a little sweaty. You ever go fully nude in the house when your wife's not, or even it doesn't matter, I guess it's your wife, so you can do whatever the fuck right. you want. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. I you? absolutely go fully nude. Yep. That's awesome. I enjoy uh, watching the cats. Uh, try and figure out what what the <laughs> the different parts of my body that they don't always see smell like. They're like, yeah, what, the, what the fuck is that thing? I'm like, get on in there, get on in there. Uh -oh. You like that funk, don't you, you little animal? One whiff of that, and they know who's in charge. That's what I've been doing since I left Machinima. I noticed a lot of people have been a little confused about me. They're like, isn't Sark leaving? Right. Yes. Yes, I thought I explained this. I left. I quit the company, and I'm working as a host in a freelance capacity. <laughs> Which means I come in and we shoot the shows, because I love the shows and I love you guys. And yep. no, I'm not doing it out of the goodness of my heart. I'm getting paid, bitches. Yes, Jesus. Thank I God can't make it any up. clearer than that. I know. Oh, I'm gonna have a all right. Aneurysm. Yep, just take a Second part of the first question is directed at you. Eat, eat a gummy. Eat a gummy. You'll feel better. Um, what have I? What are my plans after YouTube and Machinima? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> how's that for an answer? I have no fucking clue. Seamus O'Bradley says, "What are your opinions on the future of media viewing? Do you think the Oculus Rift will be a household item?" Oh shit! I can't believe this is like two serious questions in a row. Good this question, is Seamus. Yeah. Oculus Rift. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's a uh, basically like a old. It, I'm gonna say old school because it was. It's a VR headset. Yes. Sort of. 3D like a viewing. Legit one. Yeah. Uh, I played porn. with it once. I played Doom 3 with it. It because uh, it is sort of uh, behind the thing. And uh, when I played with it, it was not in any sort of condition to be used at a home. It looks like you're jacking into the fucking like cables and shit. And it was like a yeah. was it, it cool? Like did you like it? Around your... Or did it not? Really it was do it for no. You? It was fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I wish I, I still haven't tried to get. I don't know. I don't know. That's my question or mm. my answer. You don't know. Seamus. I don't know. That would be a question. But I don't know. That's an answer. So I think it will be a household item. Yeah, it, it depends on the price of the thing. I bet you it's going to be expensive as hell. If you could releases. get it to be as big as Google, little Google spectacles, mm. maybe. Yeah. But right now, yeah, it's like you're wearing, uh, it's like you're wearing a VCR over your head. Jesper Andain asks, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, which character will you play the most of in GTA V on your first playthrough? None of the, wow. Hmm. 
None of that matters. The first thing I'm gonna do when I load up GTA 5 is I'm gonna try to fuck a prostitute and figure out how you do that. Mm. I think that's most of, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I'm gonna try to get out of the story mode I'm and figure gonna out. Do it too. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna do that. Um, but is Trevor the one, the fucked up uncle or I whatever don't know. kind of guy? I get them all crossed. Yeah. I'm gonna play uh, whoever is in the, the city. I'm gonna yeah. play, uh, which is probably the, the, the like the black like gang oh, banger yeah. guy. I'll probably mm. play as him. Yeah, just because I want to be Franklin. Yeah, mm. thanks, Mondo. Uh, just because you want to be black? No, it's oh. no, definitely not. But uh, uh, I just enjoy the environment that he's in. The yes, best, so. right. Yeah, I mean, no, you don't. Want, I don't want to be black. I would not want to be black either, and not because I think there's every anything time wrong I, with it. Every time I pull up at a red light and I see a cop car parked at the other light, uh -huh. I'm like, thank God I'm white. Yeah. That, I yeah. just, and I don't, I'm an atheist, but I still say that shit. I feel like I have the I'm black- I'm a fucking mixed up individual. I have the black guilt whenever I'm in a car. I always feel like I've done something wrong. Even mm. though, I don't know, do you get that? Like, I always drive more carefully, even though I'm like, there's nothing, I have what does my that license plate. with being black? That, that, that's black guilt? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of white guilt. Maybe I just what are you it. White guilt. I get white guilt. No, I just get nervous. I feel like because I feel like black people always say that they're always nervous around cops because cops always, just because of their skin color, are going to profile them. Okay, okay. So I okay. feel that even right. though okay. I'm not black and I have no reason to be scared. You say I'm a law abiding citizen. Wow. So I've really. <laughs> you saved that. Barely. Barely. Angel! Yes. Angel uh, Angel Angel Hernandez. Yes. Wait, didn't I ask well, the last one? You read this one. You read Angel this. Hernandez says, what big event would you stop if you could go back in time? That is such a good one. I'm gonna go back and say, of all the things that have ever happened in history, I would probably go back and not buy the 3DO. <laughs> you re I would that really impacted own. your life. I re yeah. You've talked about that quite a bit. I'd have an extra uh, like um, 1100 bucks right now. I would have uh, I would have become an agnostic way earlier than I did. Oh yeah, which is yeah, which is a little deeper, but yeah, no, really, because I feel like I'm glad I am now. But yeah, the way to pussyfoot around the real what? Why don't you go back and uh, kill uh, what? or Whoa. keep Jesus from being born? Well, oh wow, Why I wasn't just <laughs> I don't. Really? You yeah. think that's that's better? Oh yeah, because you're right. Yeah, totally. All this other stuff wouldn't have happened. Okay, fair enough. I would start to make Jesus Ty happy. As yeah, a Jewish it would. Man. It told me like, oh shit, we didn't even have to deal with it. Hmm. That's fucking sweet. Fucking. Even though I'm not religious really anymore, I still, when I look at Ty, it makes me upset about what he did to Christ. Makes me a little anti. And he's a little. He's smiling. He's smirking right now too. He doesn't even feel anything. He doesn't feel the. Wow, you just gave me the fucking middle finger. <laughs> the middle finger. That's Jewish for thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I got it. Hare Krishna or whatever. Where are your dreadlocks, by the way, Ty? Why don't you wear the like the gunslinger jacket and the dreadlocks? And the... It's at home. It's at home. Okay. So you're a part-time Jew. Tyler Smith asks, if I had to eat at one burger joint, fast food or not, for the rest of your life, which one would you choose and why? One burger joint. One burger joint. The first thing that comes to mind is In-N-Out, but I've tried In-N-Out. I uh, ate exclusively at In-N-Out for a couple months, yeah. and it really, I hit it a wall. Just, it destroyed you. Yeah, so. In-N-Out's one of those things you have to go to as a rare, like once in like every couple months, because then it's really good. Yeah, yeah. I, um, probably, uh, it would probably, probably have to be at sort of like a nicer end, like a See, I, father's this, office. This is what I'm gonna say, and people are gonna be like, oh, the fat guy talking about burgers. He would be a connoisseur, and yes, you're right. Obviously, I got here some way. Uh, <laughs> in and out. <laughs> now, now, bear with me on this. In and out. Okay, go to In and Out, and, and for my money, uh, In and Out has the best plain. The way you really measure a good burger is without any of the condiments or any of the other stuff on okay. it, right? The meat, the cheese, and the bun. Mm -hmm. That is the purest form. Yep. And the highest art of being able to pull that off, I think, in the fast food realm, is in and out Go and get the plain cheeseburger, cheese, bun, meat, and you do not need shit on it. You don't need cheese ketchup. Bun? Cheese, cheese bun? Cheese bun and meat. Like Olivia Munn? No, what? No, not Olivia Munn. Though she would probably be great on it too. I'd eat that shit. <laughs> Uh, but no, but seriously, try it sometime and tell me it's not the best cheeseburger you've ever had. It's the best. We'll, we'll try it sometime. We'll try it yeah. sometime and I'll prove it to you. I don't did know, you usually man. go with the double double? What did you used to get? Yeah, double double. Okay. I'd fucking maybe go to. Oh, shit, I don't know. Well, I'd go to McDonald's. I'd go to McDonald's. Really? Get the two cheeseburger combo. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh my God. George Custer <clears throat> says, Why are you so stupid? Mm. Mm. Spelled well S T U P U T. Well played. 
Yeah. And Custer has a little fucking, I don't know, what do you call that thing? A umlaut. An umlaut? Yep. Okay. Bet George didn't even know that shit. No. He's just used to typing it on a fucked up weird European keyboard. Why are you so stupid? That's just how you look, George thinks to himself as he pushes it and the extra dots appear. I'm gonna really um, sting them. Why are you so stupid? Uh, well, George, you might have picked the wrong day to drop that shit yeah, oh like God. it was hot. Oh boy. Um, right. yeah, first off, it. first off, George, all right. your very name. Uh, let's start with your parents, all right? Oh God. Your mom's on her back, she's got her feet up in the stirrups, the doctor's staring into her cavernous vagina as it stretches out over your little misshapen baby head. And the first thing they do when they plop you up, covered in her placenta and her fucking birth fluid and blood, and she looks down at you with your weird conical head, and she says, we're gonna name this baby George. Who names, who names their kids George these days? Custer? Custer? Is that, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Custer. Let me answer you. Fucking retards name their babies George. Is your dad named George? Probably, because his parents were probably fucking retards. You're probably a 10th generation retard, George. That's why, that's why you're sitting at your umlaut covered keyboard typing shit to us like, why are you so stupid? <laughs> this is the part of the show where he goes super duper fast rapid fire. I'm picking it up, Sark, let's do it. You ready to go? Ready? Yeah. Hunter Thompson wants to know what we like better. Red Hot Chili Peppers and Beatles. Red Hot Chili Peppers, absolutely. Fuck the Beatles, they're old. Get out the way. Boom, get out the way. I only said the get Beatles because I feel like I have to. It's like a thing. You don't have to do anything, man. It's a free goddamn country. We live in America. Someday we'll live in China and that'll be awesome too. Ian Screen wants to know if you'd rather have consensual sex with Hitler or glue my beard hair to your dick. Fuck that already. Yep. What? Oh, you would do the gluing. I already do it. Oh, yeah. I have this weird condition where I can't grow hair down there, so I have to, to make it look natural. I That's my, awesome. Your hair off. Yeah, yeah it makes Hitler. it easier for... Yeah, whatever. He's you fuck Adolf he's a, Hitler? Yep. Why? He's a bad dude, but at least... Listen, you're... Uh, you can, it's like... I don't... Prison uh, fucking. You're... It's, might as well get some enjoyment. Are you gonna be able to get... Uh, anyway, whatever. I don't Absolutely. Want yeah. Fucking Hitler, at least there's something in it for me. Gluing your beard to my dick <laughs> is nothing but pain. That's true. I'm gonna... Yeah, I will fuck Hitler and I will... I will jettison my... <laughs> oh, I will no. offload my cargo into his stern. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll actually prevent World War II in the act. Donald Gaming wants to know what we like to lubricate our shit better with. KY Jelly or Wet Platinum? What is Wet Platinum? Wet Platinum. Uh, I don't, I've never, KY uh, I jelly. Yeah, I don't, KY is a little oily. I know it's water-based. It's a little, it feels a little oily. Feel a little, like, lotion-y. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I run with Astroglide ah. usually when I want to, when I want things to get, real get slick. It's real slick up in there. Yep. Um, I, ro I rock gamer grip nowadays. I know it's the opposite effect because it dries out <laughs> skin, but usually the women are lubed up plenty beforehand. So oh, I right. I don't need to use Their that own, because they're Orange. looking, because they're, they're excited, anticipating the event. That's right. The event that is APL. Yeah, it's definitely an event. Yeah. Steven Jeff Burnett wants to know if we prefer Fatal Frame or Silent Hill. Silent, Silent Hill. Hill, absolutely. I think even though the, the, the game sort of Trickled downhill, I think. Yeah. I just have fonder of scary memories. Fatal Frame's Silent awesome. Is fucking terrible. Silent Hill. Fatal Frame's good too, but yeah. not as good. <clears throat> Isaac Hansen wants to know whether or not we'd like to get a picture of our friend Borf's face tattooed on our back, or if we'd rather get the phrase fuck you, Borf, tattooed on our face. Can, Can we, we get, get both? Please, 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 his beady little scientific eyes in his glasses. Okay, you're a little I'll talk with him with my belly button. I'll be like, oh, did you guys know about the black holes? Oh, oh, hey fellas. Did you see the latest from, from physics? Our fun with that pen? Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Hey there, got some free time for E3? Good! Starting on June 11th to the 13th, tune in for our 24-hour E3 coverage featuring the latest gameplay, hardware, and trailers from the biggest gaming convention of the year. Catch it all on your phone, tablet, computer, or other rectangular viewing device right here at Machinima or on your 360 with our patented Machinima app.
Apologies, of course, if your name is George and you're a decent person, because then uh, your parents weren't retards and you're probably all right. But if you're an idiot and your name's George, then your parents were definitely fucking Down Syndrome mongoloid pieces of shit oh, that never should have bred, because you know Down Syndrome plus Down Syndrome, it doesn't equal two Down Syndromes, George. So let me just prove to you why now? I'm not so stupid. It's not two Down Syndromes, it's Down Syndrome squared. You are, you are, your parents' retardation combined, multiplied, right? But the thing is, we've already proven that their parents were retards. So you're already, you're up to the eighth power of fucking Down Syndrome. I'm oh, surprised shit. your heart even remembers to beat, you fucking idiot. I bet you have a walnut-shaped brain in your hip that's like, got to move the legs when we walk. Ugh, ugh. Going to do the refrigerator for the applesauce. I love the applesauce. Oh, oh, reach for the Why are you, 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 oh, stop it, stop it. How did he even manage, by the way, to do a non umlauted you? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. And your last name's Custer. Custer. Well, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it, you stupid fuck. What are you named after? Are you named after a dessert? No? Custer? Are you Custer. named after the general Custer. who rode his troops oh. up a hill and was sur immediately surrounded by Native Americans and murdered mm. because he was an idiot? I bet you're in a fucking, uh, like how, how many generations is that? That's gotta oh, be at least six. Yeah. Six, six stacked up on exponentially increasing mongoloid <laughs> fucking ape men fucking oh, each other yeah. and one day accidentally sticking it into a woman and then <laughs> you came out and you're like, and you gagged on your mom's juices. And you're, <laughs> That's how you cried. <laughs> and the doctor was like, oh, oh Jesus. He was thinking into the doctor's mind in the birth room. Oh, fuck, what do I say? What do you say? You got this. You deliver babies all the time. It's a beautiful baby boy. Here you go. Already smells like shit, though. Partly because you shit on him when you f pushed him out, and partly because I think he, it looks like one of his legs is actually made of shit. He has a foot made of shit. But I don't want to mention that to you. Hopefully it, he grows out of oh, it. No. We'll see. George, do you have one foot? If you do right now, it's because your shit made leg fucking fell off at the age of six months or something. And the doctor's like, yeah, it's fucking normal. And then your parents are like, oh, funky doctor. <laughs> smell like poo poo. Make me smell like poo poo. So to answer your question, George. Um, I'm just in a real sort of sour mood. Yeah. yeah sorry. It's, should we do rapid fire? Yeah, let's do rapid fire. Sorry, George. 